Good afternoon, YouTube, and welcome back to my garage. Uh, this afternoon, I'm going to do a project. I'm going to add a four inch to five inch lift on my uh, my cargo trailer. Uh, and, and to do that, I'm going to install this uh, Dexter over under kit, uh, which includes a new perches and, and uh, U bolts and and uh, spring uh, you know perches and all that kind of stuff. So I'll install that, and when I'm done installing that, I'll install these sumo springs. The, the purpose of the sumo springs is to provide some. Uh, so when you have an uneven load, I have the water tank full and I, and I don't have the bike in, for instance, the, the trailer would be unevenly loaded this way, this will automatically take that up when they're progressive. So it'll help it ride better. It also takes a lot of the load off the springs and helps those out a lot. So kind of like a helper spring would be. Anyway, the process is I'm going to have to jack up the trailer and take the wheels off and then get under there and take the axle out. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go ahead and I'm not going to bore you with all those details. I'm going to jack the trailer up, get the tires off, and show you what i got to take off to get this installed. Okay, have it all jacked up now. Um, you can see, I'm not gonna tell you guys how to jack it up because uh, it is dangerous if you don't have this thing jacked up right. But uh, I'll show you what I got going on under here. I already ran into my first problem. Um, I've gotta take these hanger bolts off uh, that you see right here. Um, and uh, well, you gotta take one of them off on each side. Uh, and they welded them on. So I'm gonna have to take my cutoff tool and cut that bolt off. And, Went down and got some new ones, so we'll see how that works out. But uh, basically, what I have to do is I have to take these four bolts off on these U's on both sides, and then that'll loosen up that axle. I can't pull it through the spring because of the uh, drum; it's not big enough to fit through there. So I have to drop the uh, leaf springs. So that's what I'm going to do, uh, and uh, I'll come back to you when I get that done. The other thing I wanted to mention—I don't know if you noticed in this axle—you you notice if you put it on the ground and measured it, but there's a little bow in the middle. That's why you can't just simply turn these axles around um, and use the perches the other way. You have to weld on new perches up on top. It just won't work. You'll wear your tires funny and, and uh, that camber is necessary to be in the orientation it is. But in any case, uh, so I'm going to work on getting this uh, leaf spring bolts out first. I'm going to cut them off. I won't film that. I'm just going to cut them off, try to get them out. Once I have those out, then I'll take the bolts off and get the axle out and I'll come back to you. Back at it. See, I got the uh, spring off. You can probably see the other side better. I got all the U-bolts off. Got the jack on it, holding it up. So all I'm gonna do now is uh, take out the other bolt. I already got it cut and pushed through over there. I had to cut them off. Uh, I got new bolts, I'll put them back on. In any case, uh, I'm gonna lower this down and I'll have it out. I'll start putting on the new perches. Okay, so this is how these perches go on. So what they do, um, They've actually welded some bolts on here with these uh, standoffs, and what you do is they're adjustable. And the, the deal is, is you, to get this exactly parallel with the other perch, you measure the gap here on this side and that side, and you adjust that to make it exactly the same. The other thing this thing does is it transfers any of the rotational force uh, in you know to the bottom perch that was factory installed. So this is really a, a pretty strong setup. I mean, obviously I'm going to put a uh, tack weld here and here that that would really wouldn't need these, but uh, this allows you to get it aligned perfectly. Uh, you know, as far as parallelism goes, also transfers some of that rotational torque uh, onto the other perch, and then you tack weld it, and this thing's going to be pretty strong. And you see the index hole there for the uh, leaf spring. So it's really kind of hard to mess this up. Um, you know, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, get these on here, measured and welded up, and we'll see how it goes. Okay, got the perches all welded on. You gotta paint it back up there so we don't have any rust uh, going on where the welds are. But you can see that it's all tacked. Got it tacked on both sides. It's actually not the neatest looking weld, but I beat the crap out of it with a hammer. It ain't coming off. So um, in any case, both sides. So, and they're level with each other. You can put a level on them as well as the distance between these. Everything's parallel, everything's good. So anyway, my job now is I just gotta come around here and uh, I gotta bolt these leaf springs back up. Uh, 
and then get the jack uh, on that axle and jack it up to it and put the U-bolts on. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll come back to you. Okay, well I got it all back together. Um, I've got uh, I've got the sumo springs on as well. I went ahead and put them on and you can see under here, you see the uh, sumo springs there. Those are those, uh, those uh, look like little rubber, rubber uh, bumpers that go from the uh, pad of the top of the spring up to the uh, frame there you know, on both sides. So I ended up with about a six inch lift here. Um, everything's back on. I was expecting four to five. If I'd have actually measured everything, I probably would have known it would have been six, but uh, quite a difference in the stance of this thing. I'll back up here so you can see it. And uh, so I've got to definitely get some bigger tires onto the wheels now. And uh, come around here, this is the interesting part that's for me. If you look at the truck and the and the trailer, they're in the same plane now. Now the driveway's tilted there, so it looks like it's slanted down a little bit, but if you look at that trailer, the clearance on that with the truck now, so when I go off-road, uh, I'll have a lot of clearance. But anyway, that's it. Uh, so that's it. I just uh, basically underslung the axles and I gained six inches on this thing. Now, you wouldn't gain as much on a 3,000-pound uh, axle, primarily because the axle diameter is different, and I think there's only three instead of four springs. So it'd be slightly different, more in the four range probably. Uh, but uh, with the springs and axles on here, I got actually six inches out of that. So I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. Anyway, uh, if you want to see more videos like this, like and subscribe. And uh, i got more mods that are coming. Thank you for watching.